دن 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 دن. مرحبا اهلا وسهلا بكم في الطبخ السعودي انا اسمي ايمان هلا ايفريبادي ويلكم اجين تو انذر ابيسود سعودي فود وذ ايمان ا لوت اوف يو هاف اس مي تو ميك مقلوبه سو ام غونا شو يو هاو تو ميك ات ار يو جايز اكسايتد يا مقلوبه مينز ابسايد داون اتس ا ديش وير وي ميك ات وذ رايس اند فيجيتابلز اند وي بوت ات ان لايرز اند وي تيرن ات ابسايد داون اند وي سيرف ات بوبولار ان ا لوت اوف عرب كونتريز بوبولار ان ذا ميدل ايست بت ايتش كونتري ميك ات ان ذا اون وي ام غونا شو يو هاو تو ميك ات ذا سعودي ستايل سو ار يو ريدي تو دو انذر سعودي ديش وذ ايمان يلا يلا وي ار غونا اد تو تيبل سبونز اوف اويل وان دايست اونيون وان دايست سمول بيل بيبر وان تيبل سبون مينس غارليك وان تي سبون سالت سو ناو وي ميكس ات اول توجيذر and when you roast it it gives it a very nice flavor so now it has become a bit light brown we're going to add the chicken put the skin side down so we're going to brown it from the skin side going to add a pinch of salt black pepper salt and spices cook it till all the sides are white and not pink anymore so now the chicken has become brown all the juices and the oils from the chicken came out we're going to add the water just to cover the chicken we add 1 teaspoon of salt spoon of salt and spices we will add two dried lemons they're in brown color and sometimes they're in black if you can't find it don't add it usually find this in the arabic stores or indian stores as well pinch of black pepper and green diced onions cover it and let it cook on medium high heat for 15 minutes we need one onion about two or three black eggplants two pieces of potatoes that have been sliced this is the thickness that we're looking for one tomato sliced as well green bell pepper cut the eggplant you need to clean off the head and the bottom we dice the first side very thin layer This is the shape that you will get it's like square shape cut it into thick pieces the red bell pepper cut it in half move the inside cut it in three parts in half so we bring a pan on medium high heat we add a little bit oil let it heat up frying the eggplant once it has become gold light and brown we turn it around you remove it fry the sliced potatoes come gold light brown cook the cauliflower cut them all in half once it has become golden brown you put it in the strainer so we add all the sliced eggplant side down we're going to turn them all around to the other side fry it for another 2 to 3 minutes now we will remove it and put it aside to cool down a little bit of oil in the same pan we're going to add the bell pepper and we're going to let it roast in the pan till it gets cooked that will take around 10 minutes so now it has browned from one side we're going to turn it around we're going to keep it on the other side for another 2 to 3 minutes now it has browned on one side so we're going to mix it a little bit remove it and put it in the strainer we will add our sliced onion so now our onions have browned a little bit going to turn it all around add the sliced tomatoes you don't want to cook all these vegetables for a very long time you want them brown and golden brown but half cooked or a little bit more than that so now the chicken is ready remove the chicken from the pot add a little bit more salt add 2 cups of basmati rice that have been washed and strained we're going to keep it for around 7 to 8 minutes we we'll let it cook on medium heat in the same pan we're going to add 135 grams of tomato paste a little bit of salt around 2 pinches one or two pinches of saudi spices one pinch of black pepper one tablespoon of oil little water and mix don't want it too thick and you don't want it too watery now this is ready we put it aside now i cooked this for around 7 to 10 minutes it's half cooked now we're going to prepare the magluba we have the vegetables that we have fried we have the chicken that we have boiled and we have the rice that we cooked for around 7 to 10 minutes i've divided them in two halves the first thing we're going to do is take some salt and sprinkle it on top of the vegetables take the tomato paste we have prepared and we add it to the first half of the rice mix it slowly so you don't break the rice the second half of the rice we're going to take 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder you mix it all together now we're going to prepare the magluba put it in layers it's extremely important that you do this neatly add the skin of the eggplant at the bottom face down make it like a shape like a flower add little of the potatoes just a few of them then we add the chicken in between cauliflower in the side then we add the remaining potatoes add the bell pepper on the side i try to make one green one red make sure you really focus on this so the dish would turn out to look nice when you serve it press it a little bit add the red rice press it down tomatoes onions the eggplant make sure you fix it properly on the side we add the yellow rice even in all sides and we're going to press down 
You don't want to push too hard. I'm going to add the remaining chicken stock. We will cook it on low heat for 20 to 40 minutes. It's been around 30 minutes and now we are ready to serve. How are we going to serve this? Basically, we're going to open the pot. We need to turn it upside down. Put this underneath. I'm going to bring a flat pan. It's on top, my hand underneath it. So turn it. Center it, so we do it from the side, so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Keep it like for one or two minutes to make sure that everything comes out. And we're gonna see what's going to happen. So one, two, three. And when you pick it up slowly. Ah, you made so now castle. this is the final dish. Look at this. It even looks yummy before you even taste it. Paha's gonna try it and he's gonna tell us what he thinks. Yes, it's legendary. <gasps> It's legendary. This is how we make Magluba Saudi style. Bilhana wa shifa. I hope you enjoy it. See you next time. Bye. Subscribe.